when we were writing and producing songs at the beginning of the underneath process in 2001, it wasn't just that we were writing a record from scratch. In a lot of ways, we were working with a label from scratch because yeah. a lot of the people that worked at Island Def Jam hadn't been involved in our process, hadn't been involved in our previous records. Yeah. And for that matter, we'd only been with that record company for one album. So what you realize is it's not just difficult to get a process of writing and recording going. Sometimes just starting the process with a label getting invested is the hardest thing. Obviously, it's Mitchell and Greg who are the contenders in our minds. But you know, there's just that thing. Whether Mitchell, you know, I'd, I'd like to have I mean, an open have discussion with Jeff, Jeff tomorrow because he's not. I'd he's like to have not at the same point you are. Huh? He's not at the same point you are. Oh, well, I know. He still wants to hear a song. Yep. It's time to go down, down, down. I can't love anymore. A Superman. After more than 23 demos, we finally felt like we were gaining momentum with Fenster. So we flew to New York to have meetings with the label to try and get them to sign off on working with producer Greg Wells. New York's the battle of the camera and say hello. Hello. Say boom, boom, tss, boom, boom tss. Like I would hit like floor tom and be like. No, no, you need a snare on that backbeat. You got, got to give us a snare on the backbeat. Boom, 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 boom. Really? Absolutely, yeah. There's gonna be a big. That's the part. That's the part. We met Greg Wells at the castle in France, and there was just a good feeling about who he was. We wanted to make the record with Greg, and we felt he was a talented guy, and he had the right vision for where we were going. Just don't walk away. 
There was a lot of pressure on the songs we did with Greg because he was the guy we wanted the label to sign off on. There's definitely moments where it feels great at the same time. I, I, I wouldn't mind taking like a minute break and then listening to it. Dude, is that good enough? Hmm? What? That was not good enough to me. This? No. Well, we're going to embellish it. I know, but that's, but the overall thing is not good enough to me. I hate to do this, but I'm really not satisfied with the sound of the drums. I think if you can be more specific as where you want to go with this, that would help everyone. Okay. Because it, it can go several different ways. This is... Just dry drums, no room. Okay? To me, you know, when that's on, that feels really good. I can't imagine that I could feel a whole lot better. Yeah, there's like certain fills, there's definitely moments where it falls apart, but yeah, well, as a whole... I think it would be stupid to just not, to just say, okay, let's go scratch. Let's, let's go start from scratch right now. I think we've got to give this the benefit of the doubt, and we've got to sit with it, and we've got to, and we've got to see what we have. I don't completely agree with you. On the song? No. Or on the uh, I, and uh, I would actually say I would much prefer that we, that we just do it another way. I don't particularly like the feel of it. I don't think it's, I think it's speeding up very much. I'm the one Great saying that. Okay. okay. He doesn't have a crummy attitude. I was just saying, I was just, I'm just, just worried that it's speeding up. Hey, that's great. If you don't, that's fine. It talks about, you know. Recording was going great with Greg. We had finished three songs that we were really excited about. Uh, we hoped that Fenster would just get excited enough about it to let us finish the record with Greg. <laughs> 